In talking about my new book, somebody said that I had gone too far. <laughs> and I was amused because it implied from what? You know? It's not like there is a King's X where uh, gray beards in white coats tend the sacred vestal fires of reality. <laughs> there is no reality. There are only people who know this and people who don't know this and are therefore being manipulated by the people who do know it. <laughs> this is true or true enough. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, one of the things that has amazed me uh, with my own personal career, because, you know, I started out basically shoveling snow in a cow town in Colorado, and by fate or who knows what, uh, come to the present position, and what I notice as I traverse levels uh, on a supposed ladder of success where you would expect uh, there to be more and more competition and people and activity. Actually, it gets emptier and emptier. Uh, there is nobody minding the store as far as I can tell. This is why I'm so unsympathetic to conspiracy theory. We could use a few conspiracies. <laughs> Nobody is minding the store. Everybody is getting rich, personally rich. And so they don't have time for, you know, to advance the Aryan race or the Council of Zion or any of this fantasy an illusion that haunts the world of conspiracy theory. Uh, rather, it seems, uh, everything is being left pretty much to develop on its own because people are afraid to grab or touch the levers and buttons in the control room of the historical vehicle. Uh, and what that means then is that people who can cut through these many, many illusions. The illusion of materialism, the illusion of business as usual, the illusion of benevolent institutions carefully guiding us toward reasonable destinies. If you cut through all that, if you disabuse yourself of all that, uh, you, you will empower yourself to eventually be able to stand up in delicate social and political situations and just say, bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. And this is worth considering doing uh, simply because we have an imperiled planet on our hands. We have been for a long, long time the victims of illusion. Western civilization, Stefan Daedalus was right. History is a nightmare from which one must awaken, quite literally. I mean, we have been blind to what we have been doing. We are blind at this moment to what we are doing. If in a single moment the actual nature of our predicament were to fully make itself felt in the mind of any one of us, I think it would be paralyzing. It would be horrifying. We, we have waited till the last moment of the last hour the house is burning down around us and we rouse ourselves from the stupor of materialism, the stupor of Christianity and scientism, the stupor of male dominance, sexism and racism. If we don't rouse ourselves from this stupor, the momentum toward extinction is now practically irreversible.